I uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, when my next guest uh, volunteered to participate in a blind speed date with 10 guys, she had no idea how wrong and how viral it would go. Take a look at this. From Jubilee Media. Yo. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet Hi. you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I didn't really envision you looking like anything, but yeah. I'm really happy you're cute. Thank you. Um. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, I hope this kind of goes somewhere, I guess. Well, I got a girl. Do you, what? <laughs> what? Thanks. Yeah, I'm... That's really good. You're awesome, though. Like. Did this just happen? Everybody, please welcome Alexa. I'm so happy to be here. I'm, I'm so glad excited. You're here. Set this up for us. How, how did it happen? I was watching one of my favorite social media influencers, and I noticed that they were doing like a casting call almost for their social experiments. So I looked in their description and I found the link to a document that I just filled out. And they called me up and they said, Hey, do you want to be a part of our video? And I said, Sure. And we went through the whole process and I found out he had a girl. <laughs> so, I mean, what went through your mind when he said he wasn't single? At first, I was disappointed. Um, I was shocked, of course. The producers were shocked. Everybody on set was just, like, horrified almost because it's a dating show. Like, obviously, you don't want somebody to be taken in a dating show. But um, I found out about it, and I was like, okay, cool, awesome, great, wonderful. Well, it saved you a lot of problems because yeah. you found out at the beginning instead of I halfway did. through it, right? <laughs> so well, what was the response to the video? What's that been like? For oh, you? my goodness. My social media, everything has been psychotic. Um, everywhere from Twitter, where it got posted and where it went the most viral, it's gotten, I think, 12 million views. I've gotten thousands of followers on every social media platform you can think of, and, of course, hundreds and hundreds of DMs from boys saying that they don't have a girl. <laughs> <laughs> After the story broke, everybody, I felt it was my responsibility as the CLO, Chief Love Officer, to introduce you to some real guys face to face who I vetted. I know they're all single. <laughs> I know where they all work. <laughs> I know what they all do for a living. And these are some, the kind of guys I think maybe you should meet, okay? So you ready? Yeah, of course. All right, so guys, come on out. All right, fellas, uh, tell us a little something about yourselves. My name is Sebastian. I am a student athlete, and uh, I'm from Los Angeles. And uh, I've been single for a while, and I think it's time to uh, be serious. <laughs> My name is Charlie. I am from the beautiful state of New Hampshire. I'm a writer. I am 20 years old, and I am heavily into the arts. And let's see where things go, <laughs> right? How are you doing? I'm Quincy. I'm 22. I study politics and economics. I come from the cold, cold state of Minnesota. And I've never been in a relationship. So I've been on a couple dates here and there. Uh, nothing's ever really stuck, but <laughs> trying to explore some new things. <laughs> <laughs> What's he threw me when he said, I've never been in a relationship? And I went, ah, you know, like, because I didn't know what the hell it was. But then I got to remember, he's 20. It's 20. Probably ain't been in a real relationship. That's probably what you meant by that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I've never been in a relationship, and it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Here's the best way to say that, Quincy. Yeah. I've never found the right one that has produced anything of value and longevity. If you say that, you know what I'm saying? Quit saying. All right. You cue, you on point. Now they going, okay. <laughs> 
I just, it's just conversation. So when we come back, everybody, Alexa's going to do another round of speed dating. I got a feeling this is going to go a lot better the second time around. We got three <laughs> great guys over here, folks. Find out right after the break. In your hand, I've given you a list of questions. These are 14 questions that I wrote and designed for women to ask men on the first date because it helps you out. A lot of women struggle with what, how far, what should I ask. I done figured all that out. I wrote 14 all questions right. that will tell you really, really some great things about the guy that you need to know. So these are the questions. You can pick any of those. You can ask any one of the gentlemen. I got three great guys here. You ready to get started? Yeah. To confirm, you're all single. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Now, you ready? Yeah. Any of those questions that you like? Charlie, yeah. since you're not in school, yep. what is your dream, and where are you at achieving that dream? I'm a writer, so I, I would love to uh, put my stories out and uh, make them, make something of them, but my, my dream is just to live the best life I could live. Uh, just be spontaneous, just see what life hands me and just take it and go with it. Okay. All right, next question. Quincy, what is your biggest strength and your biggest weakness? I think that my biggest strength is my biggest weakness. Um, in that I like I have a lot of like ideas and goals and like things that I'm interested in and want to do But I spread myself too thin and I'm mm -hmm. terrible at scheduling and so like if I had 40 hours in a day I'd be straight Sebastian what is the biggest lesson you learned from your parents relationship? Um, I've learned that uh, honesty is key um, in a relationship without that there's nothing. It's really loyalty and just being honest to, and explain to you how you truly feel about one another and just keeping it real, you know. That's a good answer. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. All right, one more question. Oh gosh, one more. For the guys. I'll ask all of you this. What is one thing you won't tolerate in a relationship? I think for me, it's, it's closed-mindedness okay. um, and an unwillingness to try new things. Quincy, let me ask you a question. <laughs> oh, no. You sure you ain't 40? <laughs> <laughs> I got my ID if you want to. <laughs> I'm a damn show. Sure look at it. That's a damn show. Sure. <laughs> what's, what's the one thing you won't tolerate in a relationship, Charlie? I like the fact that people are open and vulnerable in relationships, so I think not holding anything back because that just builds up inside of you and just letting whatever feeling you have coming out with it to your partner, um, that's definitely something I value in a relationship right there. What about you, Sebastian? Um, I, will have, I will have to say dishonesty. Yeah, okay. You don't want to be in a relationship with someone that's dishonest to you and always lying to you behind your back because that just causes more problems. It creates uh, little problems to chaos and it just doesn't work. All right, it's time to pick. But now this is what, this is interesting. Because this is the age where you just want to go out and see if you can enjoy a person's company. That's all this is. You're just trying to formulate some great relationships along the way. And if one of them sticks romantically, then you got something. But right now, these are all young people. He's out here pursuing it. He's got himself <laughs> dialed in to a lot of things. Let me tell you one thing, though. See, what would help you with the broadness and the spectrum that you're looking at is focus on something that's tied directly to your gift. Because I know where you at. I was the exact way, man. I was spread out like that. You know, and then you, you're in college. Your ticket, though, is clearly to me, you got to play ball so you can get this thing paid for. And that's real. Some, some good young guys up here, really, really happy. So, Alexa, which one of these gentlemen do you want to just go and see if you can have a nice time with? Just enjoy your oh, day. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's tough. I know. It really is. Audience, who do you think she should pick? <laughs> and look, that lady said, I don't know. Just pick it down. Oh, yeah, that's my mom. Hey, mom. Mom, Ma mom, you said you don't know. Terrell, just show her that card. I wrote a name on that card. Let her see it. 
And we, I'm gonna see if that's... Tell me, is that who you think Probably, it was? Oh, no. Yeah, just let her see the name on that card. That's not who you picked? Wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> Who's it Ooh. gonna be, Alexa? Okay, for the record, I would go on a date with all of you. <laughs> so, no hard feelings, I promise. Um, and as your daddy, I wouldn't allow that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go with... Sebastian. You were right, I was wrong. I, I, I knew it. Mom, I thought you knew me. I thought I did too, apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, but I watch, I watch the man, and I watch his eyes. I know the man who's trying to make the connection. I, it doesn't matter what she says or thinks. I follow the hunter. I know the hunter that's trying to capture. That's how I, that's how I knew. And so he was trying harder. <laughs> Come on over and meet us, Sebastian. Keep us posted on how it goes. We'll be right back, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.